she's a helping hand. I've been doing Old Town for like two weeks now. Someone you can turn to. Yeah, I just helped the guy right now looking for the Blanchett house and he, he couldn't read a map. Lena's son used to be homeless. Because I got a bad background, I got a bad past, and I couldn't find work anywhere. Now she works for Portland's clean and safe crews, watching out for the city's most vulnerable. You no, know, I made a mess too, and now I feel like I'm able to help clean up people's camps and stuff. Um, I see them doing a good job, and I, I think they need to stay around. See that they help me, then I gotta do the same thing too. But they do more than that. They also provide security for local businesses. The program just launched a new number to reach them and is aiming to work the streets 24 7. And we're serving as kind of a a triage uh, for a very understaffed police bureau in, in, a, in a challenging time. If you're in downtown, you can now call them at 503-388-3888 for non-emergency security issues, such as people sleeping in doorways or disrupting businesses. But it's building rapport, treating people with respect and saying, hey, would you mind moving a little bit, a couple of feet away from the doorway so this business owner can get in? Um, of course, if those situations do escalate, we have a partnership with the police bureau. These clean and safe workers, while they're here to help people, they also find themselves at risk. Uh, I got attacked like once. This guy threw a bag of cereal at me and then he got in my face. And she's not alone. One of my coworkers got attacked. He was sitting on taking his break and he got socked five times in the face. When it gets dangerous, they call police and they ask you to do the same walk away from the scene and call the dispatch. Every day is going to be difficult. In an emergency, still call 911 for an immediate response and then call clean and safe only after you've confirmed that an officer is on the way. In Old Town, Blair Best, KGW News.